Hello everybody, I am Dr. Rucha Mehta, consultant endocrinologist and diabetologist at Edmo Clinic and Apollo Hospital CVHF in Ahmedabad. I am very happy to be speaking to you today from Diabetes India Conference being held in Indore. So the topic I spoke on today uh, is a very relevant topic to all of us as clinicians and diabetologists. So we decided to speak about the VERIFY trial and its implications on how do we treat new onset type 2 diabetes. So what we mean by this is patients who have just been diagnosed with diabetes in the last 2-3 to three years when they come to see you in clinic and their initial starting HbA1c is say between 6.5 to 7.5. So the question that you know raises in our mind is most of the guidelines will say let's start them on metformin monotherapy alone. Now what we know in type 2 diabetes which is not just an insulin secretion and insulin resistance defect, there are many things that go wrong. Besides a pancreatic beta cell defect, our patients also have uh, problems at the level of the liver with an increased hepatic glucose production. We also know that there is the fat cell that goes wrong. There is at the level of the kidney an increased glucose reabsorption. Also, most importantly, there is an incretin defect along the gut or the GLP-1 pathway. So what I plan to show in this particular presentation today and executed was metformin in combination with DPP-4 and namely Vildagliptin was used in the VERIFY study versus metformin alone with placebo and we looked at the primary outcome as treatment failure meaning how soon did the patients need to be added a second agent. The patients were then followed for 5 years. What we found that using a combination therapy of metformin along with a DPP-4 inhibitor was much more protective and prevented the patients from going into treatment failure. Their HbA1c stayed below 7% even at the end of 5 years versus if you start them on metformin alone. So I think this has great implications on our management and we should consider putting on our patients on more than one single agent alone because number one in the long run you will provide them with sustainable glycemic control the newer agents prevent you from having hypoglycemia either they are weight neutral or they can cause some weight loss for weight loss we can use agents such as SGLT2 inhibitors we also have now oral semaglutide and the oral DPP4 molecules which may not cause much weight loss but they are weight neutral and last but not the least in this particular trial also there was no increased cardiovascular risk seen with these molecules. Therefore, I think an important message to walk away with from is early aggressive control in our newly diagnosed patients is very important to prevent complications of diabetes and give them a sustained glycemic control. I urge you all to make sure you are following this early aggressive approach in a safe manner for all our patients with type 2 diabetes. Thank you.